Hi, I'm a newbie single with Indian as Apple Pie, the cooking show, and today we are going to talk about Indian flavored and spiced yogurts or rathas. Now, many of you know that a ratha is something that you're served on the side to your food, say in an Indian restaurant. The idea of it is that it cools your palate down when you've got spicy or um, heat-filled dishes that you're eating. And so you kind of need that yogurt to mix in with your regular um, food that you're eating on your plate, your rice and your Indian curries and all of that. Now, most folks don't really understand what goes into an authentic ratha, and there are a few things that are key, including a few spices and a few ingredients. So I'm gonna show you what the secret is to um, my rathas at home. The key is cumin seed, but it's not just ordinary cumin seed that you buy at the grocery store. Well, it kind of is, but you take it to another level. So you take regular cumin, which is right here in my spice tiffin, and you're gonna basically heat this. And this is one way that I always say we can get double duty out of our spices, because you've bought the cumin, it's sitting probably on your shelf, and you need to use it up. Here's another way to do it. So you're gonna put this into your pan. It's a dry pan with no oil, nothing at all, no water. You wanna make sure it's completely dry. We've got about a tablespoon of cumin that we've put in there, and um, nothing real exotic about it, just basic cumin seed that you get from your grocery store. Put it right in there on medium high, and you're gonna let this go ahead and start to cook. It's gonna start to heat up kind of like toasting pine nuts. You wanna just mix it. I use my hands usually, even though the pan's a little hot. The key to that is making sure the hands always stay dry, never have any moisture in there, otherwise you will get burned instantly. But you're gonna let that cook up and you can automatically smell the amazing fragrance because the essential oils in your spice are basically breaking down now and they're roasting, they're dry roasting. And that's how we're getting this intense, delicious, flavor that's going to go into our ratha or yogurt. So I've got this um, cumin that I've, I've, I've roasted ahead of time and it's beautiful. It's brown, it's fragrant, it's almost like a reddish sort of color. Again, all those essential oils have now broken down. We're going to take this, break it down even more. We're going to grind it down. So you could do it one of three ways. The first way would be to get a spice grinder, maybe a coffee grinder that's reserved for spices. The second way is the way we're gonna do it today in a mortar and pestle. And the third way is a little trick. You take two paper towels or cloths, you take one, you spread it out on your counter, put this on top of it, then take the other cloth and spread it out on top of this. So you've kind of layered it and you take a rolling pin and you roll it until it's ground down. You can do that with cumin seed because it's kind of a small, softer sort of spice. Can't do it as much with other spices that way, but that's kind of a little trick if you don't have a mortar and pestle or a grinder at hand. Okay, so we've got this. We're gonna basically just grind it down. And you can avoid, I guess, going to the gym that day because you can kind of get your workout in doing this. You'd have to probably do it for a while. And already, just now, instantly, I am smelling the delicious, amazing aroma of ground spiced cumin. Now, the beauty of it is you can buy ground and roasted cumin in a jar at your grocery store, but no, it is just not going to be the same. It takes such little effort to do this, and then you can store this in your spice tiffin for later if you don't use it all. All right, so we've got it ground down, and look at this, and look how beautiful that really is. It's just Smells great too, I wish we had um, smell-a-vision over here. We don't, but you can imagine it, and you'll be doing it yourself soon. So we're gonna go ahead and take about a teaspoon of that, and we're gonna put this into our yogurt. And it's dark and delicious looking and beautiful. And then we're gonna spice it with some regular salt, which I just grabbed from my tiffin there. Put regular coarse white sea salt, whatever you wanna use, table salt is fine too about half a teaspoon, and then what I like to put in my yogurt is a little bit of black salt. And I love black salt. It comes from mines up in North India. It's pinkish in color, but it's got this really amazing fragrance and amazing taste to it. It gives any sort of cold prep a pop in flavor. So there you have it. We're gonna mix that right up, and a whisk is always great for mixing up your ratas. You can also now at this point add in a couple other fresh ingredients. So if I had grated cucumber, I'd put it in. My kids like to grate carrots. You can chop up some onion, some tomato, whatever you like, 
and there you have it. You've got a beautiful, delicious ratha in seconds. So there you have it, a delicious ratha, so easy to do with just a few spices. Cumin is your main ingredient. And if you want more of those recipes, check out my cookbooks, The Indian Slow Cooker and Vegan Indian Cooking, my website, Indian is Apple Pie. Chat with me on Facebook at Indian is Apple Pie or find me on Twitter, Indian Apple Pie. I'm Anupi Singla. Thanks for joining me.